Hi everyone and welcome in this new video tutorial. I'm Arian and today we are going to create this really cool header here as you can see um, and it's also responsive so we will try to you know to achieve the same result on mobile um, and we are we will be building this in Bricks Builder and Automatic CSS and uh, um, Automatic CSS is not necessary it's a plugin really great you know to speed up uh, the process you can check the description of this video to have more information on my setup um, so let's start right away um, inside of WordPress get on Bricks and then templates as you can see create your new template when you create a new template uh, you can name it and you can of course select the template type so if you're creating a header right that need to stick on all the website you need to select header okay once done that you can you know just update and then click on edit with bricks great so now we can build our header right so first of all we need to click on section to add a new section then click on the container and with the container selected plus button let's add our first block one and then I will be clicking twice two and we have now two blocks right here okay so if I open this I now I'm going to rename the blocks so click on the first block and rename it like block uh, logo and the second block I will rename it block right or a block menu and buttons just to make it more clear with the block logo selected plus button select the image uh, widget click on the image widget content select image and I will add my logo perfect now I'm going to click on the block menu and buttons and here with this selected plus button and search for menu nav menu and of course for the nav menu to work make sure on your WordPress website uh, appearance menu you have your menu set it up this will allow you to basically click on the widget and tell him like select main menu okay to make sure it appears here okay with the menu appeared we can now add another block so we select this block called block menu and button plus button block okay and now this block are called buttons block buttons and I will basically uh, click now on the plus button and just select the button widget twice one and two okay so with this done rename it very quickly sign or login maybe yeah, I think it's login and this is get started okay and now what we need to actually do is to uh, make sure the container so this container here it's horizontal direction so here direction horizontal and as you can see now everything is horizontal but we need to also select the block menu and button and make it horizontal too and now everything should be set it up correctly uh, we need to make horizontal also the block buttons so if you click block buttons make it horizontal okay so now we need to fix everything okay first thing we need to fix this part here but before doing anything I like to set up my uh, my width of my blocks so click on the block logo and tell him on style to have a 20% of width and go on the block menu and button and tell him to have 80% of width and then let's go on the block buttons and in this case I'm not using percentage I will just saying width you can tell him like 14 em for example or whatever in my case I'm using brick uh, I'm using sorry automatic CSS so I right click on it and just have my pre-made sizing s okay and we need to actually now have those elements um, you know correctly aligned so we still with the block buttons uh, selected I need to make sure that he, he goes to the very end of his block so go on content and tell him go to the end and then with the block menu and button 
selected okay select this make sure we have space between okay and then we can go also and select um, center okay so that the menu now is centered perfectly and uh, on block logo select it again make sure is centered okay align main axis um, and centered here no this one we can even keep it I want it to the left so I don't need to center that okay so with the container selected okay the main container selected tell him to be centering everything and now as you can see everything is centered everything is great if I try to preview this don't worry the border should not be there we are in a preview mode okay the structure is done and if I check the design it's very similar we have the logo we have this one that is not really perfectly centered it's a little bit on the left and this in the in the very end right so now that we have our structure we need to start uh, I usually love to you know to make it responsive be before doing any design stuff so if I get here this is a big problem that could happen very often okay and this problem is because we have big buttons or big test text or big menu so this could happen really very often so to fix this we need to make sure that the menu from the tablet portrait shrinks in I want to make it an icon right a burger menu so with this selected uh, go on mobile menu and instead of mobile landscapes say tablet portrait so the breakpoint will start from tablet portrait and as you can see if I close this tab now this becomes a burger menu another thing very important we need to remember is that when uh, you are here on tablet we need to make sure to select the block here and we need to make sure okay to have this to the end and now we have the menu that is close to this other block of buttons great so I want to change the order because usually the menu is on the right click on the menu style layout search for order I'm sure it's here somewhere let me click again on it where is order okay I'm really sorry you don't need to click on the nav menu actually but you need to click on the um, sorry you need to click on the nav menu because I was clicking here uh, but I, I got the block right but actually you need to click on the nav menu so from the structure is easier to see so nav menu and on the style tab this time you see you see, you find you find the order so I click on two and as you can see what happens now is here on the on the right so now with the block selected I'm going on content column gap okay you can add a column gap you want like 2 em as you can see it works fine or 1 em as you wish I will do 2 em to have some extra spacing and then I'm going to mobile landscape okay but before doing anything actually we can leave it like this because the structure is okay so if I go on mobile landscape as you can see now it works fine because everything is set up if I go on mobile everything is fine but the logo is very very small and I don't like that so how to fix the logo click on the block of the logo okay and you need to make sure that the logo has a bigger width percentage as you can see it takes from the desktop version but I want this to be at least a 30 percent but what happens if you put 30 percent it breaks up the layout so you need to make sure that also the block menu has a percentage because he's keeping 80% from the desktop or from the tablet I don't remember but 80% is not correct if the menu uh, block is 30% this should be 70% right and what happens here here now the problem is that we don't have enough space okay to make sure the icon stays on the same same line so we need to fix this so probably this 
should be like a 75% and the block logo could be a 25%, okay? So, as you can see, the problem is not only this, the problem is also the fact that we have some spacing here on the right and spacing here on the left and spacing here on the top. So this makes the menu very, very small and it gives us very less space to work on. Okay. So let's do an experiment. Let's, I know, not an experiment. We're going to design it correctly. So I'm going to click on the main section and I usually do this. As you can see, there is some padding here that I don't really want. So if you want to remove it, click twice here like that and just type in zero. And as you can see now, the menu is set it up with zero mar uh, padding. But on the container level, I don't want the elements to stick very close because if you go on mobile, now it's, they are sticking edge to edge and I don't really like it. So get back here and just say uh, with the container again selected, just say padding left. Um, I usually go with automatic CSS like XS, okay, copy this and paste it here on the right and XS and as you can see it's adding some space, okay, great. And if I go on mobile, look at this, uh, everything looks great, there is some spacing and everything and and yeah, so like everything is great. So the menu, I mean the logo, the, the buttons here, the menu is here on the right, so if you check the other look at this it works fine look at it it's great and here it's different so we really made this in what, what is it 10 minutes are uh, great right a menu completely completely responsive that works fine so now let's style it a little bit it's very easy to style stuff here um so first of all let's say i'm going to try to really do this quickly it's not very important um but let's say the menu, if I click on the menu, I can tell him, uh, go on the content here of the menu, top level, and like you can change um, the typography here. You can change everything, um, like the font size. I usually right click on it and just give him a, a font size. Um, that could be like, uh, yeah, S, but I will add a calculation, calc parentheses and I will make because it's as is good but it's too small and I, I usually do a calculation multiply two for example this is too big so I would say like 1.2 maybe or 1.3 okay again uh, let me copy this oops let me copy this oh how about what's going on <laughs> let me copy this and let's show you that you can use em like 10 em if you want oops no rem and use like six oops six two you know one two one point six so you can use whatever you want you can say also say 16 pixel okay whatever but i use my my calculation just for best practices um and and here we are we have the menu here you can tell him to be a little bit bolder so again on typography i would say uh font weight and you know go on six and it's bolder if you check it's bolder okay you can tell him uh to change the color of it so i want it black okay now you have it black you can do whatever you want, actually. Um, so I'm not going to spend too much time here. Let's uh, quickly style this. So the two buttons are actually too close to each other, right? We forgot to actually add some spacing. It's very easy. Click on the block here and just tell him column gap. Right click XS for the column gap. And as you can see, now we have some spacing, okay? And if I go and check the rest, everything is working fine, so no worries. Perfect, and I'm going to style the button, the first button, so click on it, and here we have login with this really, is nearly invisible, the background, so um, first of all, it's also separated. I go to check always the mobile, I'm scared that breaks everything, <laughs> but anyway, we have enough spacing. So login, you can tell him style to the, of, of the button, uh, background, you can tell him like white background in this case, okay and um this one 
you, you can also change the border to, to a radius, like border. It won't see that, you won't see that because it's of course invisible. So let me say M, usually I go with M. Uh, and as you can see now, it added a border on one side. So just go on the border and click this to put it on all the rest. Um, I'm going to change this to an S because I like it more. And here, this button here, again, with that clicked, you can basically add a border again here, right click and tell him S and of course click on this. And now as you can see, it has his borders. And here a bonus tip for you, we will be changing the logo on mobile. So on desktop or bigger resolution, we will have the full logo, but on mobile, I want to show only the icon, okay? So to do that, click on the block logo here, okay? Make sure that with the block logo selected, you get on content and the direction uh, is horizontal. Okay, click on it, nothing will be changing, but you will see everything just in a moment. And then icon logo, just duplicate it like this. Okay, now we have two logos. What I did previously is to separate the icon um, from the text logo and I uploaded it. So the icon logo, select here, as you can see the first icon logo, you can upload uh, the icon only, right? So I prepared this, of course, earlier and you can insert it and now we have only the icon logo and of course we will click on the second logo and change it and use only the text logo and insert it. And now we have our full logo um, displaying, right, in this way. If you want to change the spacing between the two items, you can just change the column gap, okay? You can just type in like one EM or whatever, and as you can see, there is a gap now, but I will remove this because I'm not, I, I think it's not necessary. Okay, great, so now if I get on tablet, it's still showing, okay? Uh, if I get here, it's still showing, and on mobile, I have this problem because this is taking too much space. So click on the second logo, okay, and then, go on style and with the tab layout open it let's go here and um, change display to known and now click on this icon here and change the width to something bigger if you want to show the logo bigger like 3em for example and as you can see now the logo is bigger and looks fantastic so if I get here everything is same as before but if I get on the mobile I have my logo icon right so so the last edit is actually the uh, mobile um, sidebar coming out if you click on the menu here make sure you are on desktop this is very important edit this on desktop so click on the menu here and then go on mobile menu and you will see the mobile menu coming out you can change the background by going here on background uh, and change the color, okay? You can also add an image if you want, but I'm going to change the color. Let's say I want a gray, for example, okay? You can change it. I, I will keep it as the original uh, color because I don't really like that gray, but you can also change then the font, okay? Typography here. You can change the color of the font or the size of the font. Let's change the size of the font to something bigger. I make it bigger. Don't worry, it changed only the mobile sidebar, as you can see, and now the, 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 the text is bigger only here. And of course, you can also style everything. You have uh, borders, you have padding, you have all a ton of options to, to change the design. So in my case, I will leave it like this. Just hit save and you are good to go. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope the tutorial was useful, guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel uh, to get notified for new videos. Like the video, of course, and comment if you have any question. Have a nice day. Bye.